Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Sasha and in today's video, we're gonna talk about my favorites. Today, we have a very gloomy, rainy, ugly day as actually the last three days, I believe. So hopefully, it's not gonna be too dark. I had to close all the windows because you would hear all the rain and stuff. I usually do favorites that are a little bit of a mix. I like to put some random stuff. I like to do some makeup stuff. I like to do some fashion stuff if I have any. I just like to put in this video everything I am enjoying in my life right now. So without a further ado, without further blabbing, let's go into the video. The first thing I would like to talk about is the CC Cream by Herborian. If you watch my channel, or if you don't, I'm gonna link the video down below. I did something like a comparison with this CC cream and the CC cream from IT Cosmetics, which I'm actually wearing on my face right now. I'm never wearing this one, but I'm using both. I'm using the IT Cosmetics when I want a little more coverage, but this one is my absolute favorite. Actually, I'm reaching for this CC cream every time I want to put anything on my face. Every time I want a flawless, glowy, blurred, poor face, <laughs> that's when I reach for this one. I absolutely love it. I cannot say enough good things about it. And as I'm using it more and more, the more and more I love it, you know? It's like, a, for the first time I was like, okay, okay. And then every time I wear it, I look at my skin. Afterwards, after a few hours, I'm like, huh. My skin looks very good and it's thanks to this product. If you want to know a little bit more about this CC cream, just click on the link where I did the review slash comparison and you hopefully will know everything you need to know about this product. Next thing I'm absolutely loving, maybe, maybe even more than my Herborean CC cream is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I was fighting this. I didn't really want to try it. I was like, I'm not gonna buy this concealer. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. And honestly, for the first time I tried it, I didn't really like it. I mean, it was okay, but nothing too special. But I guess I really need to get into using the product to really appreciate it or really don't like it. I learn how to work with it. What I'm usually doing, I usually I like to work with concealers with my fingers but with this one I don't like it I feel like it's making it patchy so I'm using my damn beauty blender and I love it and also what I've been doing is that I don't let the concealer set if I do like one eye then I do another eye then I go and then beauty blender and it takes me up to a minute to go and really blend the concealer it becomes a little hard to work with, at least for me. Some people like the fact that it sets quite quickly and give you that very high coverage, but I like to work with it as soon as possible. And if I need a little more coverage, I just layer it. Maybe if you didn't like this concealer, try this technique and maybe you will love it as much as I do. The next thing I'm gonna talk about, you could also see in one of my videos, actually in maybe two videos, and it's this. Becca Opal Liquid Highlighter. I bought this as a kid with the Opal Powder Highlighter, which it's like, nah, whatever, you know? Like, I'd rather reach for this one or my MAC Soft and Gentle, which I have forever and I think I'm gonna have forever because it's very hard to go through that thing. But if I want something more natural, but still very nice and glowy, I go for this one. I don't know, when you use the powder, you can kind of see the powder on your cheekbones, which is okay when you film or when you do photos or you really like that blinding highlight. But for me and for everyday basis, I really do like this liquid one because it blends nicely into your skin. It just melts into your skin and it looks like you're glowing from within. And that's exactly what I'm looking for in the highlight. I don't want you to be able to detect that I have a highlight. I want you to see that I'm glowing. But why? Is it because I'm using a highlight or is it because I'm healthy? Huh, I like to trick people that I'm healthy. Yeah. <laughs> and the last thing that is makeup related, and I was really debating if I should put it here or not. So take it as a half favorite because I honestly didn't have a lot of time to play with this product, but 
since I bought it, I'm using it every single day. And it's my take me back to Brazil. The makeup tutorial and the first impression on this palette is gonna be linked down below. If you don't wanna watch the video, and if you just wanna see the palette, uh, this is how it looks. I don't wanna blind you, I'm so sorry. As you can see, it's uh, 32 shades plus three shades that are not that crazy, but 32 vibrant, colorful shades. They are not the absolutely the best quality eyeshadows ever, although they blend very nicely. But on the other hand, don't blend it too much because you're gonna lose the color. That's why I was a little bit on the fence with this favorite because I really like it, but it has its disadvantages. But the fact that this palette it's only $16.99 and actually last time when I checked the the website of BH Cosmetics it was only $11.30 something so not even $12 for a 35 shade palette which is kind of a steal I think and to be honest the colors are beautiful if you want to dip into some more unknown waters and try something colorful and I highly recommend this palette I don't think you're gonna be disappointed for $12 Oh wait. Okay, now I'm gonna dip a little bit into my like fashion-y favorite. But the thing is that I was living in a comfy clothes. I didn't really have anything, but then I realized I do have one thing which is fashion related. And it's this hat. It's like a nice straw beach hat that I got from ASOS. Again, you could see it featured in one of my videos, you know. Uh, it's get ready with me beach edition. I love to wear it to the beach I have a big problem with the fact that I get sunburned super fast. It's just perfect. It gives me shade I need. It's very cute uh, demonstration Which uh, this is like Not a good demonstration because I have a ponytail so it doesn't sit on my head properly and the next thing that is fashion related and that it's like a number one thing every girl should own is this thing and if you're looking at me like why do every girl needs tape well this is not just a regular tape it's a body dressing tape what does that mean if you have any dress or i have some body suits or jumpsuit it just doesn't want to stay where it should stay you know and with some things you just not wear in a bra and if you don't want to flash everyone just need to do something about your clothes this is basically a two-side tape that you stick to your clothes and stick to your body honestly I never had a problem even if I was sweating it's the best thing when you know that you can dance and you can move without feeling like oh you have to hold this and this and here but I don't really think it was that expensive I got it from Amazon it was maybe around $20 I will try to find it for you for sure and put the price down and now we're gonna slowly go to a little more random and random favorites if you know me which you probably don't because probably you clicked on this video and this is the first time you see me but i have a big problem with the sugar i just love sugar i just love chocolate i just love anything sweet pastries candies just like yes please yes please that's 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 my thing and i'm trying to fight it because I know the sugar is not good for you and I know I am addicted, so yeah, I'm trying to fight it, okay? So what I've been doing, the first thing, I'm trying not to buy so much sweet things because if you have it at home, you're gonna eat it. But I have to buy something if I get my sweet tooth and there's nothing at home, I will go to the shop, I will go straight to the shop just for the chocolate and I will buy five and I will eat them but I was trying to go for some more healthy options these are my absolute favorite these are from Whole Foods and they are called all raw vegan certified organic chocolate haystacks and it's basically just a coconut cashew butter raw cacao maple crystals raw coconut oil did you hear the thunder? Okay, so raw coconut oil and organic vanilla. So it's raw, it's organic. It's of course it's not the healthiest, but still better than a Snickers or a Kit Kat. Another one of my favorites are these cocoa rooms, cacao nibs, bowls, and I have last two left, and I was saving it for you so I can show it to you. And this one is 
a sweetened coconut, cashew flour, coconut nectar, maple syrup, cacao nibs, vanilla extract, coconut oil, Himalayan salt. I used to work in one juice shop and one of the girls, she always brought her homemade raw bowls and they were basically these ingredients. So I knew I'm gonna love them and I do love them. And what's great about these raw bowls or the haystacks is the fact that you eat only one or two and your craving is satisfied. It's just so rich in flavor and so good and so sweet, but a little more on the healthy side. So give it a try. And the last thing that is kind of food related is my tea and it's the elderflower tea. In this household, we are very much tea people. I was on the hunt for elderflower tea. You wouldn't believe how hard it is to find a freaking elderflower tea. I really like it and I drank it since I got it every single day. And the smell, oh, I just love it. So I tried to find if Still is okay. I tried to find on the can if this tea has any caffeine. Caffeine? Caffeine? How do you say the freaking word? Well, I don't think it does. So. And, and the last thing I want to mention to you guys is the podcasts. I got very big into podcasts. I love to listen to them. Actually, I'm thinking about making a video about which ones are my favorite, but I'm gonna tell you the one that I'm enjoying the most, and that's the Rich Bitch podcast. I'm sorry for swearing. It's just the name of the podcast and I love it. If you're interested in business, marketing or entrepreneurship, this would be a podcast for you. I really like Angie and how she talks, how she gives you the information, how she's doing the storytelling. It's very interesting. She has awesome podcast voice, which also helps. And yeah, I'm very enjoying this podcast. I'm not going to tell you about more podcasts because like I said, maybe I'm going to do a video about it. But if anything, try this one, it's awesome. Okay guys, and that would be it for today's video. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any favorites or any questions, please write a comment down below. If you don't wanna miss any video from me because I post twice a week, please subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.